Hey everybody. Today is November 27, 2014. It is Thanksgiving Day. And today many people will be spending time with their families and loved ones, enjoying a nice turkey dinner, you know, that kind of stuff, relaxing, that kind of stuff. Except if you except if you work at a place like Kmart, because Kmart thinks they should participate in Black Thursday. <clears throat> Meaning, up, meaning the store will open way before Black Friday even starts. And it's a trend I'm seeing a lot more lately. Every year, you know, year after year after year, I'm seeing it more and more and more. And I'm not liking it. A lot of stores, a lot of retail stores, and, you know, I think the big reason for this is because of online retailers. Um, they're taking business away from brick and mortar stores. So brick and mortar stores are getting more desperate to make those big profits on Black Friday <laughs> because more people prefer convenience and good deals and will just shop online instead of going to the store and getting trampled down by a bunch of people. So pretty much nowadays it's a big race of, cons of um, retailers to try to open before their competitors. Obviously stores like Kmart and Big Lots want to open way before their competitors do and can care less about their employees. <laughs> I mean seriously. I mean, most of these stores open later in the evenings on Thanksgiving Day from like 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. All the way, you know, they open around that time and they stay open to like 10 to 12 or something like that. Some stores just stay open past 12 and through Black Friday while other stores will close and then reopen at like 6 or 7 or something like that. But what I'm seeing nowadays is a lot of stores are opening more often on Thanksgiving Day to get a kickstart to Black Friday. <clears throat> now remember, Black Friday itself is traditionally known as the first day of the holiday shopping season to where you can get those really good deals on gifts for somebody. But it's, it's like nowadays the stores are thinking, oh, we can make some more money by opening on Thanksgiving Day. We can care less about our employees. And a lot of people have a lot of opposition, opposition to that. They don't like it. But there's always going to be those people that will shop on Thanksgiving Day. And this match is it's kind of for you. <clears throat> I mean, think of it this way. You know, we don't agree with stores being open on Thanksgiving Day. Just, just, just think of it like this. Let's say, let's say Joe works for Staples or Walmart who's opening on 6 p.m. today Thanksgiving he's um, let's see he's got some family who lives far away let's say um, a two or three hour drive so just thing like this he could be spending the afternoon with his family and driving home at about on the 6 7 p.m. but now since he has to report to work at Staples or Walmart um, at 6 p.m. He's now having to leave at um, <laughs> at 3 or 3.30 to give himself enough time to get ready for work. So he's it's, it's cutting into the time he can be spending with his family. Just because some people prefer to get a good deal before Black Friday or just because some retailer thinks I oh, will make some extra money on Black Thursday instead of Black Friday. It's highly unfair to those who would like to spend time with their families. And as I, you know, as I started this video off, um, people who work at Kmart and Big Lots, they're already working. <laughs> it's only 9.30 this in, the, in the morning Thanksgiving Day. Those people are already at work. They're not going to get to spend any time with their families because Kmart says, says oh, we'll get an early, early start to, think, to, the, um, to Black Friday by opening on Black Thursday instead. On Thanksgiving Day. So yeah, and it's, it's it's again, it's highly unfair. Very, very unfair. It's awful, in my opinion, that these people who are getting paid, who aren't getting paid enough to live on, are ha also having to work on a day that could, they could be spending with their families. Really, really, really unfair. So, anyways, um. Think of it like this, if it weren't for the customers that would shop on Thursday instead of Friday, these stores would have no reason to be open because if they 
if the store was open and nobody walked in the door, that'd be a huge loss for them. Because some stores are already paying their employees holiday pay. And you also got to factor in the amount of cost to run the store. If there's nobody walking in and buying stuff, they're not making any money. <clears throat> None. So I always think of it like this. If you disagree with these stores being open on Thanksgiving, first thing is, don't shop there on Thanksgiving Day. Your shopping can wait till tomorrow. Number two, if you really disagree with it, share share your opinion with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. And just get, get the opinions out. Ask your friends to not shop and ask them to pass that message on to their friends. Just ask your friends not to shop on Thanksgiving Day. Don't do your Christmas shopping on Thanksgiving Day because when you're doing that, you're just adding fuel to the fire to help allow employees of these retail stores to not spend time, not get the opportunity to spend time with their families. And also, when you shop at retail stores on Black Friday, if you decide to participate, always show respect for the employees that work at these stores. As I mentioned, they're not getting paid enough to live on, and they're, they're, they work their tails off every single day, and you need to respect that. I mean, think of it like this. I was a computer tech at one of the big stores, and I was only getting paid $7.75 an hour to fix computers and run registers and stock shelves and clean and do that you know, every every single little thing for less than eight dollars an hour <laughs> so anyways um and getting back to our back to what we're talking about it's highly unfair for these stores to be open but the consumers themselves can voice their opinions with their wallets simply with their wallets do not shop on Thanksgiving Day. Just don't do it. It might seem more convenient to, to um, after you visit with your family, to stop by Walmart or Staples and grab that hot item for a gift to somebody. But by doing that, you're just encouraging these retailers to stay open on Thanksgiving <laughs> and take their employees' opportunity away to spend time with their families. So anyways, I'm going to end this video with a list of stores that are open today. I'm not going to name every store on the list, but I'm going to name a majority of them. Then I'm going to name some stores that are closed today, which I highly commend for that. Um, anyway, stores that are open today, on Thanksgiving Day, that are preventing their employees from spending time with their families, <clears throat> starts out with <laughs> probably the biggest box store in the United States. Walmart. Next up, Best Buy. We also got Kohl's, Sears, Macy's, Target, and Kmart, which is really preventing their employees from spending time with their families by making sure they're in there by 6 a.m. Also got Belk, JCPenney, Steinmart, Sports Authority, Staples, let's see, Walgreens, which is a drugstore. Michael's, which is an art and craft store, they're opening at 4 p.m. today. Dollar General, Rite Aid, Sears Outlet, Gander Melton, which is opening at 8 a.m. today. So, guys, here's a good example. Gander Mountain is opening at 8 a.m. You know, Gander Mountain is one of Bass Pro Shop's um, big competitors. It's a good reason why I should support Bass Pro Shops. You'll hear why in just a moment. Let's see. Big Lots opening at 7 a.m. Their employees won't get to spend today with their families. Um, Dick's Sporting Goods, they're opening at 5 p.m. Old Navy, 4 p.m. Let's see. H.H. H. Gregg, 4 p.m. <laughs> Value City Furniture, 6 a.m. Their employees won't be able to spend time with their families. And this is a furniture store. I mean, seriously, come on now. Furniture store. <laughs> so anyways, this is a fine example. I mentioned how Gander Mountain was opening today to prevent their employees from spending time with their families. Um, now here's a list of closed stores. So we got Academy Sports. That's one of Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, 
competitors. And guess what? Bass Pro Shops is closed today. Just another reason to shop at Bass Pro Shops and not Gander Mountain. I mean, seriously. For the simple fact that Bass Pro Shops respects their employees by not opening on Thanksgiving Day. That's awesome. Um, also, we have Burlington Coat Factory, Cabela's. <laughs> Cabela's, that's another, com that's another competitor to um, Gander Mountain. So we got BJ's, that's a competitor to Sam's Club. Let's see. If, um, Guitar Center, Harbor Freight Tools, Joseph A. Bank, Lowe's Home Improvement. Let's see what else here. The Marshalls, Nordstrom, Northern Tool and Equipment, REI, Pier 1 Imports, TJ Maxx, True Value, Tractor Supply. Those are just some that are actually closed today. See, anyways, as I mentioned, if you disagree with stores being open today, don't shop there. And if you haven't thought about, you know, if you haven't really thought about this, and you're just thinking about that good deal that you might be able to get on Thursday, just wait till Friday. Just don't shop on Thursday. Seriously, just don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. And a final message to the, to the um, higher ups in these retail stores: Remember, it's Black Friday, not Black Thursday. Stop opening on Thanksgiving, please. Just, just stop. So anyways, thanks for watching.